Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another ink comparison video and this is the pink inks comparison. So I think let's go and swab up some inks. So the first ink I have here is one of the older Diamine bottles and this is Diamine Scarlet. So let's do an ink swatch. Now this is an ink that I did start using a few years ago and I really haven't used a lot since and I don't know why because I do like pink inks. Just put a little bit more saturation there. So this is Diamine Scarlet which is actually quite a nice pale pink. The next ink is Diamine Amaranth. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now this is probably a little bit more of a sort of traditional pink I would say. And this is a pink that I actually do use quite a lot in my pens. So this is Diamine and it's Amaranth. But that is a really nice darker pink. The next one is Lamy Pink. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is the Lamy Vibrant Pink. So this does have a little bit of glitter going on in that ink. So this is Lamy and it's vibrant pink. The next ink is Pelican Edelstein Star Ruby. And this is an ink that I do like a lot. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And you can see here, this is quite a nice pink. So, this is Pelican, Edelstein, and it's Star Ruby. But that for me is actually a really lovely pink ink. The next pink ink I have here is Pilot Awashizuku Satsuji. And this is quite a sheening ink. It's a very hot pink as well. And I'll show you why or how it's sheening in a moment. But I want to try and get a little bit of wetness going on here. See if I can get that sheen to come out in this ink swatch. So we're going to lay this on a little bit wet. And if I show you the rim of the bottle here, you can just see the amount of gold sheen that is on that bottle. And I actually had problems removing the cap because it had actually stuck on that bottle. So this is Pilot Iroshizuku. And it's Satsuji. And then the final ink that I have here is Noodler's Atlantic Salmon. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And I haven't used Noodler's Atlantic Salmon for a couple of years now. I'm not really sure why other than I really did like that ink to start with. And then I think it's stained a couple of pens around about the hundred pound mark not massively but you could see a slight staining on there so 
I decided that I wasn't going to put it in any of my expensive pens and I just unfortunately haven't used it since. So this is Noodlers and it's Atlantic Salmon. But that is actually quite a nice pink. So let's take a look at these inks one more time. So one thing I've actually realized is I don't have enough pink inks. And I only have six pink inks here. I would have preferred to have actually shown nine on a comparison, but I only have six pink inks. So it'd be interesting to see if there are any pink inks that you have and use and that you would recommend because I would like to try and get maybe another maybe three, four, five new pink inks to try out. So the first pink ink is Diamine Scarlet and you can see there that it's quite a nice pink colour although you do get a little bit of shading going on here but not a lot. Diamine Amaranth is a much sort of darker pink and it's almost more of a purpley pink I would say. We have Lamy Vibrant Pink which is actually a really nice colour of pink and I'm just noticing here actually there is a slight amount of sheen just around that shading area uh, and it's, it's just a very subtle amount. There is some sort of particular in the ink there. You can see that glisten slightly, but not a lot. And there is maybe just a slight amount of sheen on that Diamine Scarlet, but it's very, very small. The next ink we have is Pelican Edelstein Star Ruby, and this is one of my favourites at the moment. Uh, this is a really nice pink ink, and I've actually been inking this up a lot in my Platinum Curadas recently. My normal go-to pink ink is Pilot Awashizuku Satsuji, and you'll see from here the amount of sheen that you get there coming through. It's a very nice goldy sheen you get on that pink ink and you can get it on the writing sample as well and then the last pink ink I have here is Noodler's Atlantic Salmon which is a very nice I'd almost say hot pink and I guess probably it's sort of similar to Pilot Awashizuku Satsuji but it is actually quite a nice hot pink so or a salmony pink so if you're after a sort of more salmon colored pink, then probably Noodles Atlantic Salmon. If you want something a little bit slightly more on the pink side, then maybe Lamy Vibrant Pink. So that's my pink inks comparison video. If there are any pink inks that you have that I don't have here, then do please let me know because I would like to try and find some more pink inks to add to my collection because I do like writing with pink inks from time to time. If you like any of these pink inks, then again, do let me know in the comments below. So that's my pink inks comparison video. Please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.